What's up, guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for NBA Tuesday, March 26th. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. In this video, I'm going to go over my top picks for today's NBA slate. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the Draft Dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made. Okay, who do we have at the point guard position? I like Trey Young from the Atlanta Hawks playing the New Orleans Pelicans, who have a second to worst defense overall, and they give up the second to most fantasy points to opposing point guards. Trey Young has scored 59, 42, and 45 fantasy points in the last three games, averaging 36.6 fantasy points per game on the season in an average of 31 minutes per game with a 28% usage rate. Trey Young is 8,200 DraftKings salary. He's the same price on FanDuel, so I love that FanDuel price. Projected at 34.7 fantasy points here tonight, that projection is way too low. Trey Young has been on fire. He's going to need about 40 fantasy points to hit five times value. There's an implied total of 240 points in this game. That's a huge total. It's a fast-paced game with a fantastic matchup. I love Trey Young here versus the New Orleans Pelicans. Remember, we added projected ownership, and that will be updating throughout the day as injury news changes. We also added the fantasy points per minute stat here for each player. And we also added a stat that's new to the industry. We call it the hit percentage, and it's the percent chance this player has to hit value at his current DFS salary. And you can access all these new stats, even on mobile devices, by tapping the dash rank icon. Okay, who do we have at the shooting guard position? I like Marcus Smart from the Boston Celtics playing the Cleveland Cavaliers, who have the 10th worst defense overall, and they give up the third most fantasy points to opposing shooting guards. Marcus Smart has scored 21, 22, and 10 fantasy points in the last three games, averaging 22.7 fantasy points per game on the season in an average of 28 minutes per game with a 15% usage rate. Marcus Smart is 4,600 DraftKings salary. He's 500 more on FanDuel, projected at 25.1 fantasy points here tonight, that's 5.5 times value. Marcus Smart has scored over 30 fantasy points versus Cleveland in two of his last three games. This is a home game for Boston. It's a game they need to win. And look, Marcus Smart hasn't played that great the last few games. So he's going to be low owned. The price is right. And he can go off for 30 plus. This is a great matchup. So I like Marcus Smart here versus the Cleveland Cavaliers. So our DFS tools for MLB baseball are now live and working. You can click on the MLB tab to change sports and check the tools out for baseball. They're really helpful. They're going to save you guys a ton of research time. Really happy baseball's back and we're going to have daily baseball videos coming up as soon as the season starts. Real quick guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30 day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all of our DFS tools for all sports. You can try the position optimizer where you can see the top players ranked for each position. And we added a new player trends tool where you can see the top salary differences between FanDuel and DraftKings. It's a really good tool to help you pick out value for the site that you're playing on. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Okay, who do we have at the small forward position? I like LeBron James from the LA Lakers playing the Washington Wizards who have the fourth worst defense overall and they're middle of the pack defending opposing small forwards. LeBron James has scored 68 and 59 fantasy points in his last two games, averaging 54.6 fantasy points per game on the season and an average of 35 minutes per game with a 32% usage rate. LeBron James is 10,200 DraftKings salary. He's 800 more on FanDuel, so I love that DraftKings price. Projected at 55.9 fantasy points here tonight, that's 5.5 times value. There's an implied total of 232.5 points in this game. This is a home game, a fast paced game, and despite the minute limit that LeBron James is supposed to be on, he's playing 35 to 36 minutes a night, so I don't think there is a limit. 
I think he just wants his numbers. He wants his stats. He wants to stuff the stat sheet, get his triple-double, and he's been doing it. So his price is low. His ownership is normally low. I think this is a good spot to take a chance on LeBron James. Of course, the first time I pick this guy, he's going to bomb tonight. So just be careful of him. I was really hesitant to make this pick, but I do like LeBron James here versus the Washington Wizards. Before I continue with the picks, I'm excited today because we added a new contest for everyone watching. If you want to enter the drawing for $100 PayPal, all you need to do is like this video, hit that subscribe button, and make a quick comment below to be entered into the drawing. We'll reply to a random comment and let you know that you won, and then we'll send you $100 PayPal. So it's that easy, and we pick a new winner every Saturday and announce them in our video. So get your comment in now so I can add another entry for you. Okay, who do we have at the power forward position? I like Kyle Kuzma for the LA Lakers playing the Washington Wizards, who have the fourth worst defense overall, and they give up the second most fantasy points to opposing power forwards. Kyle Kuzma has scored 43, 27, and 29 fantasy points in the last three games, averaging 31.6 fantasy points per game on the season in an average of 33 minutes per game with a 24% usage rate. Kyle Kuzma is 6,700 DraftKings salary. He's 200 less on FanDuel, so I love that FanDuel price. Projected at 32.7 fantasy points here tonight, that's just about five times value. I don't know if I'd play LeBron and Kuzma, but one of the two should go off. It's a home game, a fast-paced game, and Kuzma's playing heavy minutes. 34, 34, 40 minutes last game. I think that continues. So I love Kyle Kuzma here versus the Washington Wizards. Okay, moving on to the center position. I like Carl Anthony Towns from the Minnesota Timberwolves playing the LA Clippers who have the 8th worst defense overall and they give up the 3rd most fantasy points to opposing centers. Carl Anthony Towns has scored 71, 57, and 59 fantasy points in the last 3 games, averaging 51 fantasy points per game on the season in an average of 33 minutes per game with a 29% usage rate. Carl Anthony Towns is 10,700 DraftKings salary. He's 1,100 more on FanDuel, so I prefer that DraftKings price. Projected at 55.5 fantasy points here tonight, that's 5.2 times value. There's an implied total of 230.5 points in this game. This is a home game, a fast-paced game, and a fantastic matchup. I love Carl Anthony Towns here versus the LA Clippers. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smickety smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this NBA slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.